Hey everyone, Colin Shadwell back for another finished glaze piece video. This time I'm uh, putting up all the kind of big vases I threw. I guess I have some more still out there, but this is the first batch of big vases to go through. Um, I guess I consider anything that's big anything over 12 or 14 inches tall. So this is a, a nice big series of large vases. Uh, for this one as well, I, I'm sticking to my uh, use of the Emico Potter's Choice glazes and going through and using combinations of glazes on top of each other. If you go to Amico's website and look up the Potter's Choice uh, webpage, they have this whole series of uh, what an, an, a previous artist at that company have done of, of showing what happens when you layer certain colors over other ones. So it, it gives you a, a really great basis to start from when you want to see what kind of go colors you're going for. Um, I've kind of gone and experimented some other stuff too. So um, I bought a great new color for this one called Palladium, uh, which if you fire it by itself, if you put enough coats on, makes it like almost like Diet Coke can silver, like bright, bright, shiny silver. But if you put it on top of another color, it really kind of muddles that color up and really gets some really cool color variations. So let's take a look at these pots and see what you think. So this first vase here is from my YouTube video called Indent Vase. I've tried on the on the first picture of everyone is to, to give you some sense of scale. So I've got a double A battery on it, the first picture of all these so you can kind of see what they look like scale wise. But um, this glaze job is a combination of two coats of blue rutile um, with two coats of palladium on top. When you put this palladium on top, you really want to kind of spread it haphazardly, I found. Um, if you kind of do it in smooth strokes, then you kind of get almost, it looks fake to me. I don't know. If you if you do it kind of haphazardly, the glazes tended to to soak and to run in different places. So that blue rutile is, is I, I didn't put any palladium inside the actual indent, so you kind of see that bluish, brownish color running the inside. But you also see those colors run through, and it looks really great on the textures. Um, and on the base here, it looks fantastic. So you can see how many color variations you get. The palladium kind of adds that shine to it, and uh, the blue rutile keeps kind of keeps that brownish blue on the inside. So all in all, just a really cool kind of piece. I'm not happy with the way this one turned out. So this next one I did was one that I did off camera. Um, it's actually, I, I made it in two separate pieces. I made the base, and then I put the top on, made a separate piece on the top, and put them together, and then I put some holes in the bottom and some texture on the top. Uh, this has two coats of deep olive speckle, which is a very light kind of green color, and then uh, some more palladium on top here as well. Um, that green really kind of shines through on these, some of these parts here, which is really nice to see. It's really like a, a light pale, almost pea green, I guess you could say. But with this deep olive, with this palladium on top, it really kind of, you get a big mashup of colors. Um, I like the way that the glaze ran into the holes here, so you can see that. On all these vases, these big ones where I really couldn't get in there uh, with the brush to do the inside, I, I came up with just a batch of clear gloss and, and poured them in so it would have something on the inside. I didn't want to have it unglazed. So um, just the way that this palladium runs down the piece, it really kind of gives it some really great um, different looks when it comes to depending on what glaze you put underneath. So, you know, you get a nice dark green color with this one with that dark palladium on top and with the textures and the holes, it turned out really well. This is my big oval moon jar that I did pretty early in the summer series. Um, it, it managed to stay through. It's got a couple little tiny hairline cracks along where the, the clay kind of dried and consistently along the edge of the rim. But other than that, it turned out right. Um, I have it, I bought a new color along with the palladium called um, Smoky Merlot, which is one of the new uh, Potter's Choice colors. And I decided uh, I'd give it a shot. It kind of has, you can see I used it on the inside of the hole there without putting any palladium on top of it. But it's kind of like a, a grape Merlot red. So... You put the palladium on top of it, and you get kind of this these red, dark, deep undertones with these kind of green and silvers on top of it, which turned out really cool. Um, you know, as I did this piece, I didn't think it would be one of my favorites, but with this color on it, this color combination is fantastic. And the way that I like that effect that I kept, I kept the uh, the inside of the hole um, just one solid color, that smoky laurel oak on the inside. It kind of gives it not a contrast because these colors on the inside and outside are, are somewhat similar, but... Um, you know, it kind of draws your eye into this already, uh, you know, emphasized hole through the middle of the pot. So uh, the color combination is great. The overall look of it's really cool, and I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. So this is my really big moon jar vase from my YouTube video. Really big, capital really. Um, this is, I think, one of the, the biggest pieces that I threw this entire summer, um, and the cutouts on it are, are, are really, I'm really happy with it. They're turning fantastic. Uh, this has uh, under underglaze of Blue Midnight, which is a really dark, deep blue. 
Um, usually Blue Meta Knight just calls for one coat of Blue Midnight underneath whatever top coat you're going to do, but I went ahead and put two because I wanted a really dark blue base for this. So I did two coats of Blue Midnight followed by two coats of Palladium uh, on top of that, and you can see where it's running down and hitting this texture. It's just so neat. Um, I, don't, I don't know how you could ever uh, try to duplicate this. Uh, it's just the, the way the colors run, and they, they show the undercolor, the blue shining through on this, and the way the edges get kind of brighter it kind of even emphasizes these cutouts even more um, so I'm super pleased with the way this one turned out it's just a really big fantastic piece it's probably my favorite piece that I've seen so far this summer to come out uh, of the kiln so hope you'll like it too this is outside cutout base number two so this is one of my outside pieces that I did and uh, I have to admit I, I wasn't a big fan of this one uh, I'm, at first, uh, and then people have come on and see them and said, ooh, I like that, and I'm like, oh, I guess. And the more I look at it, I guess the more I, I kind of like it. The shape of it's really unique. It does have a hairline crackle on the rim, which is probably why I'm, I don't like it as much, because it's imperfect. But what is perfect when it comes to this pottery stuff? Um, this has a new underglaze called Tomoku. I think it's what it's called, T-E-M-M-O-K-U. Uh, two coats of that, and it's kind of a brownish, speckly kind of color. And then the palladium on top of this really kind of, uh, brings out that brown and gray and blues together so it, it really kind of makes it pop out as well and again I do like how when these these get pushed against the cutouts here the cutouts become more white because it's the, the glaze drips off the the sharp edges and it kind of exposes the the lighter clay underneath so you know again I wasn't too excited with this one at first but the more and more I look at it uh, it's kind of sticking to me I, I guess I, I'm kind of liking it now So here's my genie bottle from the genie bottle video. Uh, this is the only one I didn't use the Palladium on this series just because I wanted to try something just a little different on this one. So this one has two coats of Tomoku, that new glaze, that new underglaze, that brownish greenish glaze. And then I put some indigo float on top of it, which is obviously the blue floating on top of this. And it kind of showed up throughout the rim and through the neck too. So this one's very unique. And I like how all of it kind of sucked into all these tiny little holes. Um, you know. Painting individually each one of these holes would have been tedious, and I think I probably would have gone insane. I spent enough time cutting the holes into the thing to, to, to go through and paint each one individually would be awful. So whatever glaze ran into the holes is whatever got glazed. So, and it ended up running in quite a bit, so it turned out to be really nice. Um, the texture all on the top of the neck of the bottle is fantastic. I like the contrast, the blue and the browns and the greens all kind of mashing in there together to kind of give it a really unique look. So. Um, overall, I'm happy with this piece as well, and happy with all these pieces. They all turned out really, um, really well. I wasn't uh, wasn't disappointed with anything that came out of the kiln, which is always a plus. So that's everything from this video. That's all the big pots that came out of here. I'm really pleased with the way they all turned out. I definitely have some favorites in this group, and hopefully some some big sellers too, because you got to fund you got to fund next year's adventures. So. Um, Stay tuned for uh, the next video coming out. All the teapots are done. So I just pulled those out of the kiln today and brought them home. So I'll have to take pictures of all those. And then the next video will feature all the teapots. They turned out really well as well. So um, share this video with your friends, with uh, anyone on Facebook that happens to like pottery. And let me know what you think. Comments are always welcome. And I'm always happy to respond as well. So uh, shoot me a comment on either Facebook or on uh, the YouTube video channel. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.